Okay, just oop, turn up the volume here. I just got back, had to rush out and look at a property today. Uh, I tell you, uh, just came on the market, a townhome. I'm not really thrilled with townhomes, but this was cute. It had, you know, a lot of the things that I wanted in it. The price was really cheap. 168 they're asking for it. But by the time I got back and she's writing an offer, there's already another offer coming in on it. So, um, that's how fast things go here. It can be on the market an hour, two hours, and it's already got offers on it. Okay, so not easy finding a property. Not nearly as cute as the one, you know, up in La Luz, but La Luz is so far out from everything. Um, you know, the VA and stuff, there's really nothing up there. So anyway, um, I am putting an offer in and raise the offer by a few thousand and uh, we'll see. So I'm going to go out and look at another property. I'm not thrilled, you know, I'd rather get one without people living in it still, you know. Um, but uh, I might go out and look at this other property. It's listed at 210, uh, a little bigger than the property that I just looked at, but it has a lot of nice elements to it. Um, and in case the other one doesn't go through. <laughs> You know, it's always good to have a backup. I think I'll go out and look at this other property. It says the owners are out of town this weekend, so I um, might just go out and take a look at it. Anyway, I'm going to pick one today from the Sufi Wisdom Oracle. Work your life cards and Queen of the Moon Oracle and see if we get a uh, topic. <laughs> Topic of the morning. Mr. Max liked that little property over there. He's just like, oh my God, I can stretch out. His little paws are on the carpet there. Oh, that feels so good. And then he does the, <laughs> the agent was laughing. He's, do he's doing the carpet swimming, you know. <laughs> he is so funny. He said it felt good. I like carpet swimming. So first card out is flower moon blossoming. So let's see what we have next. Yeah, I really hesitate to go look at properties where you have people living in because then usually they want, you know, extra months to find a place and then for them to move and I want to get in the house. <laughs> I'm tired of living in the van and especially in the heat when it's, you know, triple digit. It's hot in here. Okay, next is Dance With Life. Do something to change your energy.
Yeah, the one bad thing about the one I just looked at this morning is you have to, um, I wouldn't be able to park my van in the driveway. I would have to get storage for it, which is kind of a pain. Last is balanced life. Love seeks your well-being. So, this is an easy one this morning. So, we've got the blossoming, do something to change your energy, and balanced life. Love seeks your well-being. So, one thing that I have advocated for one of my students before because uh, she can get a little um, okay, so. <clears throat> so one thing that I recommended for her was to get up and put on some good music and dance. I mean, get out there and dance every day. It helps to, you know, raise your energy, put you in a more positive frame of mind. If you have a tendency now uh, to get a little depressed, a little down because of all the stuff that's happening, um, it really can help to move you forward, gives you a little extra energy, it changes your focus, your direction, and again, to balance, keep your balance. You know, you want to stay grounded. Um, some people, you know, when they uh, become vegetarian, sometimes they're, they get a little loopy, okay? You know, and uh, especially if you are Kundalini activated, what I tell people, is if you are kundalini activated especially, you know, it can fry your nerves, your nervous system. It's going through all the naughty system, okay? So if you are kundalini activated, I really recommend meat to help you ground, okay? It really does help. People are so surprised. They can be resisted at first a bit, but then they go ahead and they have that, and it's like, boom, grounding very rapidly. Um, so it doesn't mean you need to be a full-on carnivore. <laughs> but if you are having a lot of energy going through, this is the other dynamic, lots of energy going through, uh, it can really fry your nerves, fry, you know, um, so it's like a, uh, what do you call it, in electricity. You have something you can put in the line that can help moderate things, modulate it. It's what the meat does. If you have that awakening and you're going through that energy and it's just off the charts, it can help you to ground. Okay. So blossom, whether you pick up music, like for me, picked up Native American flute, whether you're doing music, art, sometimes I get out art, you just want to take it out and you want to throw the paint, okay? <laughs> and just go for the gusto. You know, whether it's artwork, whether it's music, doesn't matter what you do, something that's blossoming. If you're a cook, try new recipes, something to just open up for a little more expansion in your life. Don't be afraid to dance with life. Dance with music. Dance with life. Go out and enjoy. You know, uh, take, a, take a portable thing with you. Go out in nature and dance. Okay? Okay, don't be afraid. Go out and, and dance. Do something to, again, open, expand uh, to make your world a little better. A little awakened. And don't forget the balanced life. You don't want to overdo things as well. Okay. 
it's like the, the thing in the Buddha would say, you know, if the instrument string is too loose, it won't play. If it's over tight, it will break and it's not going to sound well. So you have to have things in moderation. Okay. Open up, bring some expansion, but don't get like, you know, people would do, you know, you have some that start getting into weight training and then they get crazy on it and you, you see see them you know eight ten twelve hours a day and that's overkill okay that's overkill um i've seen some some of these pictures women that started doing weight training and uh, building muscles and i mean they they look more muscular than men. I mean, really big muscles. Big muscles. <laughs> okay. It's an overkill. A little overkill, okay? Um, so, yeah. Uh, things in moderation. Go forward and uh, just let's uh, make life a little more expanded. Okay? A little lighter. Do something to raise your energy. And, and to give you something that's, um, that, that can bring a smile to your face. Pick a good music, you know, something that you really enjoy listening to. And get out there and dance. Just enjoy it, okay? So love and light to everyone. Please be safe out there. Um, She's filling out this one paper for this offer. We'll go look at another place and then make my big decide. And uh, if I want to continue the offer on this place or the, the other one. The one we're looking at, it's uh, 210000 This one was one sixty-eight. Really good price. Um, um, Upside is it's a really good price. Downside is you cannot park your my RV, my van there. Would have to get a storage. Um, the backyard would have to be done. It's basically dirt now, and um, but it's empty. You know, could have a much quicker close. Place I'm going to go look at. You know they have. A Decent backyard. It's small, but it's, uh, you know, not bad. Uh, looks like it's a cute, cute little place as well. So we'll go look at that as well. But, yeah, this is not easy. It is not easy to find a property that's small out here. You know, I can find them that's over 2,000 square foot. But I don't want that big of a place to have to take care of. What am I going to do with that much, you know, that much area? So those are easy to find. I can find those all day. But smaller properties that are nice, I can't. You can't find them. I'll leave this here. Love and light to everyone. Please be safe out there. I'll see you online.